Hey, hey, welcome back to Inktober Tangles 2022. We are on day 25 and it is getting towards the end of this challenge. I hope that you have been enjoying the uh, videos. Today we have a new pattern and it's called Quazila by N.A. Oaken CZT. And it's a really um, fun tangle. And what we do on the on these videos is we uh, create the step out. I teach you how to draw the pattern one step at a time, the Zentangle method way. And so we have part one where we have the step out and part two is the mandala, which in the opening piece, you saw we you saw what we're working on and it's coming towards almost being finished. So this is the pattern, Quazila. It's a pretty easy pattern to learn and it's a great uh, vine leaf type uh, pattern and you can see the step out. So um, I've created a beginner's guide. And if this is the first time or you've been watching and you, ha and you haven't downloaded the beginner's guide, but you want to get the templates and all the information that you need to complete the Inktober Tangles 2022 challenge, even though it's past the beginning of October, you can download the uh, beginner's guide and the link is in the description. This is the tangle step out that we get uh, inside the beginner's guide and it will help you uh, create a catalog of the patterns. And by the end of the 31 days or the 31 patterns, however you choose to do it, you will have a record of how to recreate this pattern anytime you want. And you don't even have to go online searching all over, all over the internet trying to find the step out. So we are going to now go into my studio and um, get started. Okay, here we are, and this is the mandala. Oh my God, I can hardly believe it. I, What I love about Zentangle is that you really don't know how it's going to end up, and that's part of the mystery, and it's part of the magical moments that you get doing this method. So we just have seven days, seven, um, seven more patterns, and I've gone in and I've started shading and looking at how I'm going to finish <clears throat> finish this mandala. And we will be getting to um, putting in Quazila once we draw the step out. So let's get started with today's step out. So we're going to we're going to step out one leaf at a time. The one leaf. And uh then we're going to draw this uh this pattern onto the mandala. So grab your step out template and draw along with me. If you remember all the new steps are typically in a red, I chose hot pink, and we're going to start with, um, with the first step, which is to draw this um, slender leaf shape. So sometimes what I like to do because I haven't really done this pattern many times before 
and I want to get it um, kind of positioned right. So I'll come in with my pencil and I'll give it a, um, I'll give it a try. There we go. And that's step one. So we're going to come into the second box and we're going to pick up our um, lap pen and we're going to draw that again. So, it, you know, it's a pretty simple step. I want to try to get it a little thinner. So that's... Step one, now we're going to draw a, um, this. and that's step two. So let's move on to step three. So let's draw this again in here. like a little flux. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put and what we call in Zentangle an aura. It's a parallel line around. We're going to actually take it from here up down to the bottom and then I'm going to give it some little uh, jagged lines there and that is step two now so far easy peasy right so now we're on number four so let's uh, redraw this in number four and then I'll show you the next step What I really love about doing step outs is by the time I finish drawing um, the step out several times, I kind of know what the pattern's about and um, get a feel for it. I also create some muscle memory so that my lines tend to be more where I want them to be. I'm more in control of the line for the specific pattern. And uh, by the time I finish drawing the step out, I'm ready to try to put it into my, um, my design. So now what we're going to do in the next step here is we're going to connect from here. And then we're going to come around and we're going to aura this bottom part. There we go. Now let's recreate this in step five and I'll show you the next step. Almost done with the pattern Zila. And we're going to, uh, my space on the mandala is um, rather small, but I'm going to try to give a couple of these leaves in a vine like structure um, because. It looks really cool as a leaf, as, as another alternative for a leaf pattern. So we have this, and now I'm going to connect.
And what are we adding new? Well, we're going to um, I'm going to give it a little bit of a shadow, sort of accentuated here. And then we're going to give this some repeated straight lines. We'll do the same for here. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of a shadow up here. And that is Quasila. So that's basically the steps. And again, uh, make sure you have the, the name and the date. And some people have asked, who are these people that I'm naming here at the bottom? Well, these are the pattern makers, they have um, created the pattern and they des um, designed them. They, they've taken them to no more than six sim simple steps with elemental lines because Zentangle was created so that anybody, even a non-artist could um, could learn how to do this practice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our mandala. So get out your mandala or whatever you have been working on. And if you haven't been working on anything, if you have any kind of uh, sketchbook or whatever, um, oops, I want to make sure I'm sharing this. Uh, then uh, we will we will draw that into our uh, drawing that we have been working on for the past couple of days. So here's a mandala template that you get if you get the beginner's guide. And I had a question. Someone said, "Well, I couldn't transfer." the uh, design and one of the simple steps, and I will be doing a video uh, coming up in November uh, on, uh, on how to transfer a design. But basically what you can do is you can tape this up on a window and you know print out the guide, you've got your template, put the template up on a window and then get the paper that you're going to draw it on uh, put it over that and trace it. That's a simple way. I also have a little light box that is really um, great to use, very thin. You can put it in your drawer away and just pull it out whenever you need it. And it's very inexpensive. And I will be showing you that in the demo when I start doing materials and supplies demos in November. So let's head over to the studio again and let's um, get this drawn in. Okay, I'm a little off today. There we go. There, there we go, okay. So we have the step out. Pull this out a little bit. Okay. 
So where am I going to draw this? Oh, I'm gonna put it over here. Therefore, uh, okay. So kind of marked them ahead of time, so I knew, but I'm gonna take this out. There we go. There we go. Now, these are small spaces, so I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to be able to um, put in here. So I'm going to start with a pencil my uh kind of like my frame or my string and i'm gonna do this so i'm going to come up here put my first part of my leaf oh. And then I'm going to have my flux over there, like so. All right, so now I'm going to do pen. Because I have this um, uh, space here already um, going to have something else here, I'm going to go behind and then I'm going to bring out my, here's my aura on that side. And then I'm going to give this an aura here. Now I'm going to come over on the other side. And put another leaf. And this one. Okay, now we're going to come up here. It looks like I could probably put one right in here and fit it, sort of snug it in. It's going to go behind.
There we go. And fescues up there. And I'm going to start to shade these in. Now, um, I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera. You have the basic information and I want you to go and um, do a little investigating, a little research, see what some of the other uh, artists have done of uh, with this pattern and if you have the beginner's guide there's a link to the official zentangle tangles 2022 by the organizer of this um of this challenge and uh you can get access to her Facebook group and there you'll see a lot of different um, ideas. You can also download the Zentangle Mosaic app for free and you can um, get um, in, in the Mosaic. So we're going to come out. There we go. Um, and, and there, there'll be examples in there as well. So then you can you put your little, put your spin on it. So I hope that you enjoyed today and that you learned how to do Quazila. And we will be now um, moving on to day 26 which is Feliz. And this is a real fun tangle as well. And it's pretty easy to learn. And if you want to get that beginner's guide and you want to get the email prompts to links to all 31 of the Inktober Tangles 2022 step outs and the videos that I've done, the link's in the description. Thank you so much for, for watching. And um, if you are liking this channel, give me a thumbs up with a, with a subscribe. I'm working on uh, getting to my one, first 100. I just started this channel 30, you know, like 30 days ago. And I need just a few more subscriptions so that I reach my first goal of 100 subscribers. And that allows me to create a custom link so that you can recognize how to get to my channel. Now it's a bunch of different numbers and letters or whatever, and um, you won't find it. <laughs> so anyway, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on uh, and I will see you next.